Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com. Today we're going to make a really cute SVG box card. It's an Easter egg. We're going to be using For Peeps Sake from Scrappy Moms. We're going to be using the one that says you are extra special because it's in the shape of an egg. So let's get started here. This is the actual box. And so I'm just going to glue this portion here. You can see I added a little bit of white parts to this and then I glued these two parts on the front and the box goes together like this. So I'll just glue that right there. Got a little bit of extra glue. I'll just take that off here. Hold that down just for a few seconds. This is the Scotch Quick Dry Glue so it does dry really fast which is great especially when you're using a project like this. So these will go on the side and what I'm going to do is add this little guy, this is the extra special one, and this is going to go on the back side, so it says you're extra special, then you can put a little note there if you want to. And what I'm going to do is glue it onto here, so I'm just going to add the glue, whoa, <laughs> I'll add the glue right here. Okay, this is tricky. Let's try to do it this way. I think it's easiest to do it, there we go. And then you just kind of press it in like this. Okay, that works a lot better. So basically the bottom of your back here needs to go to the bottom of this box, if that makes sense. And of course you can fold it down because you need to make sure that it does fold when you're doing it. That looks great. Okay, so there's the back part of our box. Alrighty, let's move on to the front. The front has this beautiful little, um, I think you call them pansies, and what it is is three brads, and these are three separate pieces. You just put them together and I added a little bit of yellow onto the white, and sometimes if you want, which I do want to do this, I'm just going to trim some of this off in the back. Oh no, I cut it. <laughs> All right, I need to fix that piece there. Okay, so I fixed that here. I just trimmed a little bit off the back and then added another piece here that I colored with the yellow. This is going to go on the front, so it's going to line up the same way. The bottom of this is going to line up with the bottom of this. So I'm just going to add some glue right here. Press this on here, line it up to the bottom like this, holding it on all the sides here. And then you can flip it over and then use your fingers to kind of press it down in place a little more. Okay, that looks great. So there's the front of it. Isn't that looking so beautiful? I love it. Okay, so let's continue to add all of our little parts. There is one that's a little bit more trickier. So it looks trickier, but it's really not that bad. So let's just start. This is the base of it. And then you add this, and this is just the same piece like this, but you add another colored piece on top, and that's exactly what this is, just two pieces glued together. So then you're going to glue those two pieces together, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue around here. Perfect. And then we're going to glue those on top. It adds a really beautiful, like, doubly scalloped edge. See how pretty the scallops look around here? So I'm just going to go around the outside, press that down a little bit. There we go. And now there's another layer that goes on top and the layer that goes on top is a white layer that I put on top of another white layer. And that's just going to go right in the center here. And it's going to look like one of those little filigree eggs that are all decorated and look so beautiful. So that's what this is. So I'm just going to do that here. And I'm going to put this right in the center glue that into place. Just hold that down just for a few seconds. Get that all nice and glued on there. All right, and now I'm going to put this one aside. Let that dry just for a little bit longer. And let's get started on this one here. So the egg goes toward the back here. So I'm just going to fold this and fold this one. I'm going to add a little bit of glue on either side here. And now we're going to put this in here toward the back. Make sure you guys can see that. And I'm just going to press that into the back there, up against the back side. So I'll press that there. And then what I like to do is kind of fold it down and just make sure that it stays down nicely and will also fold when you need it to. So that is looking wonderful. So there's the second layer that goes in. See how that looks? Now we're going to add the third layer. The third layer is the bunny. 
and I have this folded toward the back again. You could fold it toward the back or the front, either way, how you want to do it. So I'll do this one, and we're going to put this one just the same inside. I do like to bend these just a little bit when I'm putting them in, like that. And then I'm going to line this up with the back side of this one here. So we'll just press that into there, press it in a little bit more, and then I like to press it down and really hold it there nicely. Hold that for a few seconds. I like to move it over to the other side, hold that for a few seconds. Make sure we're really getting this nice and glued down. All the beautiful layers are starting to come together. Isn't that gorgeous? So our last layer, I think, is the prettiest layer, personally, and that's the one you guys saw me do here. Okay, so now we're going to go with this really pretty filigree, one that goes in the front, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this and put a little glue on the other side. I like to fold it in just a little bit before I put it in place. I'm going to pop this up here, get it nice and straight, and then we're going to slide this one in the front. Okay. Push these into place here. Press that one down here. Move it on over. Press it down on the other side. And then you'll see this all together, which is just so beautiful. Because you're kind of falling on top of each other, so I'm going to see. All right, my box card is all complete. It's hard to see it because when I lay it down like this, it's going to, you know, go flat. So it's hard to see exactly what it looks like. But basically, these all stand up. And it just looks amazing. You can see through this, but it's hard to show this on a camera angle because when I lay it down, it's all going to lay down on top of each other. So I'll show a picture of it so you guys can see what this looks like, but it is gorgeous. Holy smokes, this is a beautiful card. So I'll show a picture so you guys can see at the end how beautiful this is.